G'day, I'm Mark Hoth and welcome to Swift Almanac. Today we are going to look at the single view app with a couple of UI view controllers. We're going to display the launch screen and then after a delay we're going to move on to the main screen. We will be doing this firstly in a storyboard and then in the second half of the tutorial we'll remove the storyboard and do the whole thing in code. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is open Xcode and create a new project. We want to choose the single view app. We're just going to call it single view. And we're going to put it on our desktop. I'll replace the one I've already got there. Okay, now before I do anything, I'll just let you know that you can download the final project from GitHub and uh, the URL is down below. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go to our storyboard and it's already got one view controller in it and we want to create a second view controller which we just do by uh, clicking down here and dragging it onto the uh, storyboard and letting go. Now the first one is called view control and the second one is called view controller so what we want to do is we will create a group from that selection. We'll call this folder our view controllers so that we keep them all in the same space. Um, we may as well get rid of the launch screen because we won't be using that. Move our info p list up. We'll move our main storyboard up and we've got our assets and I normally put that in a group called models because it's basically data. So we've got this first view controller here and or this view, first view controller.swift file and I want to call that launch. So launch view controller and what I need to do is I need to name this class the launch view controller and its superclass is going to be the UI view controller. And then if I go back into the main storyboard, I will change this to something smaller so I can see it. So this first one here, uh, we go up to our identity inspector and instead of being the class of view controller, we want it to be the class launch view controller. And when it's all done correctly, it'll come up in that pop-up as well. We'll go new file. It's Cocoa Touch class. We'll go next. And we want it to be a UI, a subclass of the UI view controller, and we want this one to be called single view controller. We'll save it under our view controls folder. So we've got two uh, classes, launch view controller and single view controller. And we go back to our storyboard and this one here, we'll have a look. Single view controller, there it is. So we've set up our storyboard. Now this arrow tells us which of the uh, view controllers is going to be the initial view controller. And if you want to swap them around, you can just move the arrow between the two. So what we want to do is uh, the system, the storyboard is going to make sure that, that the launch screen is the one that comes up first and then we want to move to the second one which is the single launch screen. So we go to the launch view controller and uh, it's, we've got this overrided function view did load and so what we want to do is when this loads just so that we know what's going on that we've actually got the launch view controller we'll change the background color uh, to dot blue. Then what we want to do is we want to move to the single view controller after some sort of delay so that we can actually see the launch view controller. So we'll say two or three seconds. So the command is perform and we want to perform a uh, this one here, the selector after a delay. So for a selector we go hash 
select that and then we go self dot move to main screen with uh, nothing and after delay of say th after a delay of 3.0 seconds now we don't need this did receive memory warning so we can get rid of it and basically because this launcher is only going to be up and usable for three seconds and there's not much time to run out of memory um, and then what we need to do is create an objective C function called move to main screen and essentially what this hash selector is doing it's just a compiler tag to say um, that we're going to send this off to uh, objective C and because we're sending off this function or this method uh, to objective C we need, we need to make it visible to objective C and so um, we better put objective C at the the front of the um, of the method call so what do we want to do uh, we need to get an instance of our single view controller which we do like this and then we've got a choice um, well we don't really have a choice but we can either show our view controller uh, and the sender is self So we can either show the view controller or we can present the view controller and animated true completion nil. And so the difference between show and present is that um, present is when you're going to be doing something modally so it's going to take up the entire screen and you're eventually going to come back to uh, what's underlying or, or the view that's underlying and show is you're moving uh, from one view controller to another view controller at the moment it really doesn't matter which of these you use whether or not you use show or present uh, because we're not using a navigation controller to keep a record of where the stacks are. We're just starting with the launch view controller and moving to um, the main screen. So if we look at our single view controller, um, what we'd like to do here in the view did load is we will again change the background color before it was uh, blue. So we might as well make this one red so that we can see the change and we can get rid of um, all of this code. So we'll run this and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, it runs from blue to red. And of course it's going to crash because in our launch view controller, we've called both of these. So I'll just run that quickly again just to show that it's nothing else that's causing the crash. So there's blue and there's red just as we wanted it. So that's basically how you do it in a storyboard. Um, now let's have a look at what additional things we need to do in order to uh, remove the storyboard altogether. And the easiest way to do this, um, to show you that what we're actually doing is to delete the storyboard and just removing the reference takes the file out of the project um, but it leaves it still in the file system so you can add it in later. If you go move to trash, then it deletes it from the project and it deletes it from uh, the folder and the finder and puts it into the trash just as it says. So we just remove the reference. 
for now and we'll go to App Delegate. So App Delegate um, has a, a method function called did finish launching launching with options and this uh, method is called all of one time and it's called uh, when, <laughs> when the application's been launched before anything has been displayed. And one of the features of, uh, or the properties of the app delegate is a window, a window variable, which is a UI window. And uh, that's, as you can see here, an optional, it will be nil. And so we, what we want to do is we want to create a window equal to UI window and well, we want to give it a frame, and the frame is just going to be UI screen dot main oh, the bounds. So just so you know, the window is uh, the available space for your iPhone or iPad. Um, there's one window for your iPhone or iPad for your device, and then there is a, um, a screen, uh, and the screen is like you would expect. It is the screen, and it's the screen that has um, a rectangle the size of, uh, well, that varies by size for each device. And essentially, on top of this window, we're going to place all of the views, so for the view controllers or, or these launch views and single views that we're talking about, those views are gonna be the size of the screen as well, but they sit on top of the window. I hope that's clear. So it goes window, screen, major view or the, the, for the view controller, and then uh, eventually we'll get to the controls, um, buttons and labels and things like that, and those will all be sub views of the main view. So we've got four different layers, windows, screens, views slash view controllers, and then sub views for controls, or user remote controls. Now one thing we need to do is uh, we need to, let's find out what it's called. We need to call this function make key and visible. That's better. And what that's doing is saying, well, we've got a window, let's make it the key window or the main window, and let's make it visible um, so that we can see it. And then what we need to do is we need to set the window to have a root view controller and for us, the root view controller is going to be our launch view controller. So we've got rid of our file and we've now set up what the storyboard would normally do here in this launch finish doing with options. We'll run it and see what happens. And we have a crash. And the reason for the crash, it says, could not find a storyboard named main in the bundle. So to fix that, we go up here to single view and we hit click on our target. And down here, you see main interface, it says main. So we need to get rid of that. And if we look down a bit further, launch screen file, it says launch screen. We got rid of that as well. So we'll get rid of both of those and run it again. Okay, so we've got our blue and we've got our red, but you may notice that it's not actually taking up all of the available space. It's quite a subtle difference. Um, and the reason for that is, is that we don't have a correct launch screen. And you'll see down here that we've got this CA transaction synchronize error. So what we need to do is we need to create another file 
Um, so we just go new file and here under user interface it says view um, that's what we want to get we just call it default save it in our single view project and it gives us this default.xib gives us this thing here that we don't really need to look at in the interface builder. And if we go back to our single view application and target, if we go down to the launch screen file, we just select default.zib and then run that again. And there you can see it starts off with the default. Um, when it's loading and then it moves to the launch view controller which is blue and then the single view controller uh, which is red. Now just before I finish there's a couple of other uh, functions that that you will um, need to know about as part of the UI view controller. If you command click and jump to the definition for the UI view controller you'll see that we've got our function view did load but a bit further down, there are these functions, view will appear, view did appear, view will disappear, and view did disappear. And these functions occasionally are used to overwrite, and they're um, placed in here. View did appear, for instance, um, and normally what uh, the difference is, view did load, this is uh, once something is in memory, then there are things that you might want to do. And uh, view did appear, this is once the screen is actually being displayed, then there are other things that you may want to do. So they're essentially getting different messages um, based on uh, those four instances um, will appear, about to be displayed, view did appear, has been displayed, and um, and then also you know did disappear and will disappear as um, functions that you may need in the future. So that's it for uh, standard single view controllers and doing it in using a store good and using code. If you want to add the storyboard back, um, you just need to go add files to single view and in your single view project, in the base project there is a main storyboard and you can go add and uh, you can again use the storyboard if that is what you wish to do. Well it's all pretty straightforward when we show you how. Hopefully it all makes sense because we use the exact same techniques in the next two tutorials with table view controllers and collection view controllers. If you have any questions about the tutorial, then please leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at Swift Almanac. Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, and check out our website at www.swiftalmanac.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cheers.